Welcome to this video where we discuss the current state of the stock market. In this video, we will talk about whether the stock market is attractive or unattractive for investors. This topic has been hotly debated in the market, and it's essential to know how this will impact your investment decisions. Please note that the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. The views and opinions expressed in this video are those of the speaker and do not necessarily reflect the views of any financial institution or organization. Now, so, let's dive in. The financial world is abuzz with the news that the gap between the earnings yield of the S&P 500 and the 10-year treasuries has narrowed down to 1.59 percentage points. This is the lowest it has been since October 2007 way before the financial crisis of 2008. The average gap between these two since 2008 has been around 3.5 points. This means that stocks are not providing as high a reward as they used to, as compared to the safety of treasuries. This reduced gap is a challenge for stocks in the future, as they need to promise a higher reward than bonds over the long term. The recent surge in bond yields and the corporate earnings picture continuing to darken has dimmed the allure of stocks. The Federal Reserve is now facing the dual challenge of raising interest rates to cool inflation while preventing a full-blown banking crisis from erupting, which clouds the outlook for stocks. The S&P 500 has recovered somewhat from last year's 19% decline, but it is still facing numerous challenges. While the Bloomberg U.S. Aggregate Bond Index has jumped 4.2%, the S&P 500 has risen by only 6.9% in 2023. The current equity risk premium is closer to the longer-term norm, and the average premium since 1957 is around 1.62 points, which means that stocks should still offer a better return than bonds given their historical outperformance. The equity risk premium falls when bond yields rise or a stock's price-slash-earnings ratio jumps, either due to weaker earnings or higher stock prices. The earnings yield is the ratio of profits from the past year to current stock prices. In October 2007, stocks had hit their highest level on record, and the federal funds rate was near its current level at around 4.8%. Over the following year, the S&P 500 would go on to drop roughly 45%, and the Fed would cut rates to near zero. Today, stocks look pricey again, and the market is facing new challenges. By at least one valuation measure, U.S. equities are currently more expensive than those of any other country or region. Although well-off prior peaks seen in the late 1990s and 2021, the U.S. stock benchmark trades at a multiple around 29, pricier than it has been more than 90% of the time since 1881. Therefore, while analysts expect earnings among companies in the S&P 500 to edge up roughly 1.6% in 2023, investors need to be careful when investing in stocks. BlackRock Incorporated's Chief Investment Officer of U.S. Fundamental Equities, Tony Desperito, advises investors to seek stocks with resilient margins and strong earnings growth. If you found this video informative, please like and leave a comment below sharing your thoughts. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos.